What's happening lads and welcome to episode 1 of Road to Top 100 in Foot Champions. Now this is basically me recording all 40 games across the weekend for Christmas. And Merry Christmas by the way if you are watching this. Well it might be Christmas Eve or Christmas Day whenever you're watching this. And hope you have a good Christmas. Hope you get what you want. And yeah so pretty much the first 10 games I'm going to be recording on a Friday. This should go up either Friday night or Saturday morning depends because upload times and editing does take the piss but as you can see we're going up 2-0 in this game and I've actually forgot to show you so the team we're rocking and some of the tactics so in the in goal um, I'm just commentating over this because it's going to be long it's going to be around about 12 minutes I think so yeah it's going to be not too much to talk about I guess but I'll tell you my team that I'm rocking so in goal we have got Loris, uh, right back Walker, centre halves Ferran and Smalling, left back Jordi Alba, centre mids uh, Kovacic, Kante and Pogba, right forward Sissoko, left forward Ronaldo and striker Morata. But I change it in game to the formation 4 3 1 2. And I edit my full backs to stay back while attacking. And also I bring off two players. The two players I bring off is Morata and Kovacic. Kovacic for Ronaldo Sanchez and Morata for Depay. So yeah, that, that's pretty much how it goes. And if I try and hold on to the lead or whatever, I actually swap the right centre mid and the left centre mid to right the uh, defensive mids and left defensive mid. So and put it on a uh, defensive as well. So that's how you seal out a game, lad. So yeah, going into the third one, two out of two so far, which is pretty sweet. And to be honest with you, I felt good. I felt good going into this foot champions. To be fair, as Ronaldo opens the lead in this game, he is absolutely class. And this is the reason why I think I'm going to do well this week. I think top hundred is in the sights. Forty out of forty. There was one game in this episode. It's the last game where it was absolute bullshit. But I'll let you see how it pans out and watch the result. But yeah, pretty much it was just fucking horrible and I just think that could actually just stop me from getting 40 and 40. But you can see here we're absolutely thumping people. 4-0, Ronaldo doing his signature celebrations. And uh, talking about the celebrations, I actually don't celebrate too much in the game. I usually just do the default celebration of the A because, yeah, the only time I celebrate is when I just go a goal in front when it's a tough game. But any other time I just, I just celebrate normally and then just skip the replay. Yeah, just like that pretty much. So, yeah, 6-0 in this game. Absolutely cruising. And this is a danger, I would say. You want to have fun in a game when you're winning 6, 7, 8 nil or something, whatever. But the problem is when you go into your next game, it actually is tough. Like, the opponent might not be that good, but it'll be tough because you've already you've played someone that is, well, he isn't very, very good. He's absolutely shocking. And you go to their level, and it is very, very difficult. But as you can see, we win the game 8-0 absolutely class result and I think we're in our fourth or fifth game now um, a sweet little team that to be fair good little B team fitness team few players off chem but yeah so he makes a mistake gives a Ronaldo Ronaldo to Depay and Depay he do throughout the video he actually does have a left foot but sometimes in the game where he could have actually scored me much more goals than what was shown and yeah we do concede our first goal of the episode dreadful defending just letting him through laps of concentration and he makes it 1-1 but I felt confident in this game that I was going to open him up anyways Pogba to Ronaldo Ronaldo he's not he's not missing that is he Cristiano unbelievable player in this game now the last two weeks I finished top 100 twice so first time top 15 I got 38 wins uh, last week was 37 wins which I was quite happy about that to be fair and this week I'm aiming for the same again. I, I'm i pretty confident as long as I can get 35 wins this weekend that I can get top 100 anyway. So yeah, I can have one shit week of 32, 33 wins. And by the way, I'm saying it's a shit week, but it's a shit week for me, not for anybody else. Because 32, 33 wins, you know, might be good. But for me personally, I've already had that. I've already got the elite, the gold one all the time. And I just want to strive on, get better and better. I want to finish top 12 as most of you know for next next month for the regionals in Paris and this is why I'm getting my team together now, getting Ronaldo in the team and he's obviously doing things by winning the penalty here and with this penalty, well voice break there, with this penalty we get really really lucky, goes under the goalkeeper's arms and yeah but they're not the worst type of penalties to concede, the worst type of penalties to, to concede is when the goalkeeper actually does save it but he carries it into the net so for example Save, for instance, Loris. He saves it, but 
but then it's stuck to his chest and pretty much he just carries it into the net it goes over the line and it counts as a goal really really annoying but as you can see in this episode it's just loads and loads of sweats but that's what you got to do in for champions you got to be clinical and this is the way to be clinical you've got your open goals all the time and you've got to make your most of them he gets lucky there with a rebound and also that's one thing as well lads in terms of finishing now I know loads of people are struggling people struggle against me with finishing but th this game was so tough by the way against what really really tough game really really good player but loads of people are struggling with finishing at the moment and all I can say with that is you've you've got to know how to do the driven shot now most of you know how to do it already you just shoot and normally as you do and then you press the B or I think it's what button is it is it on I don't know what it is on PlayStation but B on Xbox and pretty yeah as you can see one nil down there but with the driven shot most of the time it does go in because if you notice with some of my shots of 1v1s and also just in general sometimes outside the box they do go in the bottom corners some goalkeepers will have good games like in the last game I was against Loris and he had a cracker of a game I tried to do that all the time and he did save quite a few of them it is a bit inconsistent at times but you just need to make sure you've you've got it basically Get a bit lucky with that penalty as well, with Ronaldo scoring, Leno going the right way, but it took to the 39th minute to break this kid down, he was so infuriating to play against, and this is why, running with it, and he was just backing off, backing off, but then he would slide sometimes, and his defending was just all over the place, to the point where I just couldn't play any football, I tried to run past him, tried to go down to his level, he was also good at attacking, now this is absolute bullshit, he takes a shot, comes off my small in, and Smolin decides to just do a little pansy, I don't even know what he done to be honest with you, and let it go in the net. So 2-2, two, two, and this was absolutely crazy these last 10 minutes, honestly. So from kickoff, don't do really a, a kickoff tactic, give it to Ronaldo, Ronaldo to Depay, he makes a dreadful defensive mistake, and we score for, exactly from the kickoff, and I thought that was game done. Game, set and match, but how wrong was I? Dreadful defending, again, letting him through, I knew where he was going, but it's just trying to stop him and then it made me all switch the player. Lorries flopped like a fish and yet we go into extra time. But thankfully Pogba sends a ball through to the Cristiano and Cristiano 1v1, 9 times out of 10, he will bury it in the back of the net. And I knew from that point on, extra time, the game's pretty much seals. And so we brought on, brought, brought on, brought on Walcott to seal the deal. Outside, left foot, did not expect it to go in. I was actually looking for the rebound to tap in. And yeah, and that point there, I knew I wasn't playing that good. He rage quit as well. I actually took a break from it. I I was six wins in, I think. Yeah, six wins in. And I was like, no, I can't play anymore. Because after that game, I didn't feel confident at all going into the other games. So I was like, right, take a break here. Just go edit some videos. Go watch some YouTube videos or something. Go on Twitter or whatnot. And yeah, that break actually helped so much. Because going into this next game, I felt fresh, refreshed. I felt I had my form for my first four games. And it was coming back to me. So yeah, we went 1-0 up. And then in the 90th minute, 2-0 no up, Ronaldo, quick succession goals. Absolute quality. And then I felt, I felt at it. And then once it, once it you know, came to the second half, I didn't really feel any pressure at all. It was just the first half, the game was done. And the second half, we've done really, really well. But you see, nice passing movements. The pie to Ronaldo Sanchez. Sanchez into Pogba. Pogba to Sanchez. And a lovely little sweat. Great finish by Pogba. And he does the traditional dab. Now, I don't usually like to do the dab. But as I've already said, it's a, it's, a, it's the A celebrations. And yeah, I'm not really not really asked about celebrations, to be honest with you. But yeah, 4 0 up. The game's done. Laps of concentration. I'm not really bothered. Tried to trick him. I did kind of trick him. But played, played off the post. Good one too with a post and coffee shop with, I forgot who that was now, but yeah, he tapped it in the goal. So 4-1, I think that's our 7-4, 8th eight game, eight game. And then we come up against Rob Lazard. Now he actually messaged me in game. Um, I, thought, I thought he was actually quite a decent opponent at first, but then I just know how to break him down eventually. Like that's the thing with opponents, you got to know, know exactly how to break him down. Got lucky with that goal and then he done really really well here passing it round really really patient and Loris don't know what he was doing for me there he really should have kept that one out good Berber spin there to Ronaldo and Ronaldo taps it in to make it 2-1 and then from there on once I start once I concede a goal I'm, I'm just like yeah okay we've conceded a goal but then we just move on to the next to the next one 
and uh, yeah and the free one as you can see there just score as quick as I possibly can and then we actually do go and make it 4-1 and then we actually make it 5-1 as well with some bullshit where it actually goes over the bar and we get a corner do this front post tactic hasn't been working as much recently but the goalkeeper flops at it and Varane wow climbed mighty high with that and as I said he did message me earlier and he, he I think this kid uh, was but well he was young anyway and he messaged me just please quit and stuff you like that I, it just makes me chuckle makes me have a bit of a laugh when I see messages like that and yeah you know as long as people don't exactly abuse you and then just laugh at you after you know you've lost or it was a frustrating game for you then not really bothered because yeah as you can see that team there absolutely solid team but he does make a costly mistake I actually shield him make sure he doesn't catch up I knew he was marking a sweaty, too risky, so Ronaldo goes on, scores the 1-on-1 one one and makes it 1-0 inside of 10 minutes. A load of goals inside of 10 minutes for me today. Absolutely coming in a call. And then a lapse of concentration again. Let's through his Lacazette, who does a really nice finish to be fair. And then some 45, 45th minute BS, sweaty across. Paul Pogba scores again. Ronaldo and Pogba, the absolute show. Uh, this episode anyways then Pogba again has a shot ricochets off the defender keeper sees it and it's an easy header for Memphis to pie and then we get a, um, a penalty <laughs> yeah we get a penalty for Rand slide tackle gets the yellow so the game was already done by then and yeah we're gonna go and pick up our 8th or ninth win I think yeah so Ronaldo taking the penalty haven't missed the penalty all episode can we keep this 100% record yeah, of course we can go the right way, and yeah, four one, nice and low, and then we have to make it do make it five one, which with a quite nice goal to be fair. Good Ronaldo chop, Paul Pogba touch into the near post, low hard keeper couldn't save it. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty out of sight to be fair. Playing really really well in these first ten games at the moment, and yeah, as you can see, five one, no problem whatsoever. And he actually does rage quit the game. When we go into our final game against Far Lewis. Now this opponent was so tough. I thought it was going to be an easy game. Looking at it. And it was bloody tough. And this is for 10 out of 10 lads. We're currently on 9 wins. We get a corner in the 30th minute. Do a near post. And Pogba scores it. Now Lloris for him was unbelievable this game. He was making saves. <laughs> yeah he was just making ridiculous saves. And he does something clever there. He does the LT the shield in. And pretty much scores the goal with lack of sweat. We get a little bit lucky with the ricochet. And then Memphis has a shot. As Laurie saved it yet again. And Memphis actually does make it 2-1. And I just killed the game off for time. So that's going to be it, lads. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of the Foot Champions. As I said, I'm going to try and keep it consistent along the weekend. I know it's going to be hard because it is Christmas. You're only enjoying your times with your families and friends. But yeah, I'm just going to keep trying for you, lads. And hopefully get this dream of 40 and 40. As you can see, 10 wins, 30 games remaining. As I said, hopefully I've enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to me if you are new to this channel. Until next time, lads, take care.